Hello, Grade 6! Welcome back to my channel. So, it's me, Ma'am And So, thank you so much for watching, guys. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you will update it if I have a new upload videos. So, thank you so much, guys, uh, again. And sana ay always kayong man nakatutok at nakasubaybay. And, and most especially, ay meron kayong mga learnings through watching my uh, discussion video. So, um, grade 6, uh, ito ay discussion, discussion video about our uh, pivot module. So, hindi po ito ay, hindi ibig sabihin ay nagbibigay ako ng um, answers. But, I will explain hanggang sa makakaya ko lahat dito in Taglish or kung gusto nyo Bisaya. Charot. So, pero hindi ito available sa Bisaya. So, congratulations pala grade 6. Before tayo mag ano dyan sa ating week 7. Congratulations ay natapos. Oh my god, malapit na tayong matapos sa second quarter. So, nandito na tayo sa week 7. Um, so, thankful lang ako and grateful na uh, maraming na uh, maraming nakapanood nito and then yung iba nababasa ko yung mga messages nila so ayan nakakataba ng puso so let's move on na tayo so our topic about this week week 7 protection and conservation of tropical rainforest coral reefs and mangrove swamps so in a, sa week 6 week 6 natin ay yung ecosystem nila the rainforest the coral coral reefs and mangrove swamp. So, uh, iyan ako yung mga links kung ano, kung hindi nyo napanood yun. Ngayon, ay panoorin nyo muna kasi pag hindi nyo napanood yun, hindi nyo maintindihan kung ano-ano ang mga ito. Okay, so let's move on. I will, uh, I will read the introduction first and, and then we will explain the and, uh, instruction of the learning test. Okay? So, let's start. As okay, as we live every day, we encounter different organisms, whether living or non-living things. So, in science terms, this abiotic and biotic factor. So, as we do our tests or works daily, we encounter with them. So, we need <laughs> we encounter we interact with them. So, we need them as they need us. In this lesson, you will learn the physical condition of the tropical rainforest, coral reefs, and mangrove swamps, plants, and animals. So, you say physical yung, physical yung nahawakan natin na uh, environment nila. And then also, you will learn the feeding rela relationship and how the ecosystem function and the need to protect them. So, kanina sa grade 5, parang, parang may connection tong lesson natin sa grade 5. So, yung uh, how do we, how they get their own food to survive. So, there's um, the food web and the food chain and the uh, eating pyramid. So, nandun po yung kung ano yung saan na kinukuha ng nilang pagkain, kumakain ba sila ng animals or the plants and everything. So, as we go through the, this lesson, we should be able to answer the following question. So, what are the physical condition of rain, tropical rainforest, coral reefs, and mangrove uh, swamps? So, ano-ano yung mga kondisyon na nasa tropical rainforest, coral reefs, and mangrove swamps? Uh, masasagot niyo itong mga tanong na to kapag napanood niyo yung sa week 6 natin kasi doon may... Uh, mga picture ako na nilalagay and then yung mga links doon sa video. So, why do we need to protect and conserve them? So, bakit kailangan natin protektahan at pangalagaan yung mga ecosystem na yun? How can we protect them? Paano natin sila mapaprotektahan as human? Okay? So, yan. Parang self-assessment yan sa ating sarili. So, as learn how to help protect and conserve tropical rainforests, coral reefs, and mangrove stones. So, the first topic 
is about the tropical rainforest. So the rainforests are often called the lung of the planet for the root in the absorbing carbon dioxide and greenhouse gas and increasing local humidity. So nandun po siya sa week 6 natin. So hindi ko rin siya uh, masyadong i-explain. Kasi nandun na siya, siya yung pinaka-based. Okay, so the rainforest also stabilizes climate, house incredible amounts of plants and wildlife and produce nourishing rainfall of all around the planet. So they make much of the oxygen humans and animals depend on. So marami talagang mga diverse animals and organisms na nanidirahan sa ating rainforest. Yan yung nabibigay ng oxygen para siyang lang sa ating planet. Without them, there would be less air to breathe. Then, rainforests also help maintain the Earth's climate. So, siya yung nag-stabilize and neutralize sa ating climate. By taking in carbon dioxide, it will help to reduce the greenhouse effect. So, then, uh, importante yan na ma malalaman kung ano yung greenhouse effect na yan and yung climate change. Then, so, they stabilize the world's climate, provide a home to many plants and animals, and maintain the water cycle. So, yan, ito din yung water cycle na to, yung, um, para nasa grade 3 ito, yung water cycle. Then, protect against the food, the drought, and the erosion, and the source of medicines and food and support tribal people and all interesting place to visit. Ito ay parang uso na ito ngayon, yung mga farm na nandun yung mga tourist and yung mga zoo, yan yan, nandun po. And then, mga pagkain, nasa bundok talaga lahat yan and marami pang iba. So, dahil sa climate change na yan, so there, uh, may pagbabago sa ating temperatura and then key level natin na medyo medyo tumataas siya then yung ulan natin ay sobrang dami na yung buhos ng tubig and then kung sobra kung tag init naman ay napakainit din then yun po yun kasi may pagbabago na talaga sa ating uh, panahon then dahil yan ay sa mga greenhouse effect yung mga usok sa mga pabrika, yung air pollution natin, ganun din. Tsaka, there's uh, many factors din na bakit nagkakaroon tayo ng ganito. Kasi, as as dumadami yung tao is marami din nagkakaroon ng sasakyan. Kasi yung mga carbon monoxide na nilalabas yung mga usok sa ating mga sasakyan ay nagkakos din siya ng uh, air pollution and then yung uh, mga carbon monoxide na yun, yung mga molecules na na natra-trap sa atmosphere. So, we need to we need the rainforest to absorb <laughs> we need the forest to produce oxygen and clean the atmosphere to help us breathe. So, yun po, kailangan talaga natin yung mga puno kasi siya ang nagbibigay sa ating oxygen, siya ang naglilinis sa ating atmosphere. <coughs> Excuse me. So, we also know that the Earth's climate can be affected as well as the water cycle. And then, the rainforests also provide us with many valuable medicinal plants, yung mga herbal plants, ganun po. And we may be a source of a cure from some deadly diseases. So, there's a lot of herbal medicine na yun ang uh, ginagamit sa panggamot ng mga nakakamatay na mga sakit. Also, the coral reefs. The coral ecosystem are a source of food for millions. So, lahat laga, di ba? Mga seafood lovers dyan. Sobrang, kasi sobrang sabra. Ayan ay, yun, nagiginagot. So, the protect coastline from storms and erosion, provide habitats, spawning, and nursery grounds for economica, economically important fish species. Then, provide jobs and income to local economies from fishing, recreation, tourism, and a source of new medicines and there are ways to protect the reef such as discouraging people from collecting corals. So, ito ay talaga ay pinagbabawal na kasi yung corals is, it takes a uh, hundred years bago siya magiging corals. And then, for ornamental purposes, kasi ginagawa lang siyang mga decoration and everything. So, mga illegal dynamite fishing, dumping of garbage in the sea. So, 
Ito, karamihan ito, di ba? From the river. Yung ibang mga tao kasi yan, nagtatapo ng basura sa mga ilog. And then, yung pag, uh, there's a time na rainy season na, sobrang pahana, ang lahat ng mga basura ay nandun na sa dagat. So, that's like na nangyayari sa Manila Bay, na kapag sobrang ay yung mga baha na, nandun talaga sa kanila ang mga basura. So, yun po. So, eh, pwede namang iwas-iwasan na natin yan na patatapo ng mga basura sa mga ating mga ilog. So, Next, the mangrove swamps. Mangroves are the first line of defense or coastal community. So, kailangan talaga ay magtanim tayo ng mga mangroves. Lalo na kapag uh, ito ay merong mga bagyo, ito siya parang barrier. Sa, lalo na kapag meron tayo mga storm swords, is siya talaga ang humaharang sa malalaking alon. Bago, pa, bago siya pumupunta sa ating mga bahay. So, they stabilize shorelines by slowing erosion and provide natural barriers protecting coastal communities from increased storm surge, flooding, and hurricanes. Mangrove forests are home to a large variety of fish. Okay, sa so week 6 natin ay nandun din yung ecosystem na yun. Crabs, shrimp, mollusks, and species. So, this fisheries form of essential source of food for thousands of coastal communities around the world. So, yun po. Marami. Kinakain din ng tao lang. So, this helps stabilize a coastal line and prevents erosion from waves and storms. So, the mangrove seagrass beds and coral reefs work as the single system that keeps coastal zone healthy. Healthy. So, yun po. Uh, maraming uh, benefits ang mangroves talaga sa atin. So, the mangroves provide essential habitat for the thousand of species. So, syempre yung nursery of the marine organism. So, it would be hard to do without mangroves. So, creating land is the ideal for the coastal development. These trees die from subsequent population stresses. So, their abundance of sea creature leads to overfishing. Without mangroves, right, algae blooms in the water is close sea life and shut down beaches. So, kailangan importante talaga yung mangroves sa atin, guys. Kasi, pag merong red tide siya yung nag-stabilize and then uh, yung mga fish kills and everything kailangan talaga magkakaroon ng uh, mga mangroves sa mga swamps natin. Okay, so there's a five question. So the first question, what are the different types of rainforest? So you have to do your own research about this. What are the types of rainforest? And second, what can we protect the rain? Ha? Ha? <laughs> Sorry. How can we protect the rainforest, color reefs, and mangroves? So, in your own opinion, paano kayo makakatulong or makakaprotekta sa as a kid or sa batang isip? Paano kayo makakatulong para maiwasan yung flooding, the climate change, and dynamite fishing, uh, coral buying? Paano kayo makakatulong dito? So, and then sa third question, what are the ways of conserving them? So, ano-ano yung mga paraan para makonserve pa natin? O paano makaparami natin yung mga um, endangered na mga species and then yung mga sinasarang rainforest natin, paano natin siya conserve Para in the near future, meron pa tayong makikitang ganun and, and in a simple way, makaka kahit man lang uh, is simple slogan lang or anything or sharing in your social media accounts about the environment. And the fourth question, why do we need to protect them? Bakit kailangan natin protektahan yung rainforest, yung coral reefs, and mangroves? Mangroves? Ano yun? Mangroves. So, the fifth, how can we help in our own little way to protect and conserve them? As, we can, I can, as I said earlier, so, paano natin makikita yung kahit Ma maliit lang na uh, paraan. Pero pag nagtulong-tulong yung tao, it's a big help na sa ating mother earth. Okay, in our learning test 1, true or false, then right true if the statement is correct and false if it, if it is incorrect. So write your answer in your separate sheet. Okay, so analyze lang in this uh, pangungusap <laughs> sentence. Then, okay, the learning test to complete the sentences, write your answer in your notebook. But you, you need to complete the sentence. Then, you have to select 
or choose the best letter. Okay? So, the 5 siya. Then, complete the paragraph below. Choose your answers from the box. Ito yung box. And then, do this in your answer sheet. Copy and answer. <laughs> okay, so that's all for today guys and thank you so much for watching and if you have a question and uh, comment suggestion recommendation uh, leave your um, Comments in our comment section and if you're new again So don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you will update it and thank you so much guys And God bless mabuhay po tayong lahat